All right, so we're on um, 26B, plot points and graph log functions. So you just have 10 questions of this category where it's just called plot points and graph log function. So if you click on it, the instructions say to use technology to find the points and then graph the function y equals log base two of negative x plus three minus five, following the instructions below. We want to plot at least four points with integer co coordinates that fit on the axes below. Click a point to delete it. Okay, so I'm going to make that smaller and we're gonna look at a split screen. Hopefully this is gonna work. Okay, so I went to desmos.com, as you can see. <laughs> we're gonna click graphing calculator and we are going to type this in. Actually, I wonder if you can just copy and paste. Let me try that. That would make it a lot easier for all of us, right? Okay, you cannot copy and paste. Do not do that. So from here, it says y equals log. If you're wondering how to type this little two, right, because it's a little base, I'm gonna annotate it on the screen so that you kind of can tell. You press, where should I write it? Shift. And then you press the minus button. Okay, so you press shift and then you press minus. And then it will allow you to type the base. Or at least that's what Google told me, so I'm gonna uh, try it right now. Shift minus. Yay, okay, so then I wanna have a log base two. Use my right arrow key to get out of typing that. And then I go negative x plus three minus five. All right, so pretty straightforward. Like I literally just type that in here. And remember to type this little base of a two, you use shift and then the plus, I mean, sorry, shift and the minus sign. Okay. And then we just need to find four integer points or at least four integer points. So I'm just going to kind of trace over this. This is definitely not an integer point, but that's okay. I can click and drag on, um, what's it called? This graph thingy until I find integer points. So give me a second. So let's just uh, try to find some points. Oh, okay. Two comma negative five is one point. So I'm just gonna go over here and go to two comma negative five and plot it. All right, so that was one point. Let's see, what about three? Ah, oops, my bad. Why can't I click on it anywhere? Why does it just disappear? Okay, whatever, let's go this way. <laughs> just find some integer points. Okay, nope, that doesn't work. Okay, negative 13, one. However, that's not on, hmm. Okay, that doesn't fit on our axis. So we have to find something else. Let me resume, okay. Literally, you just spend some time finding some points. So I don't think you need to see me record all of this. Let me pause recording and just find more points. Okay, so I just remember there's another way that you could just make a t-table in Desmos. So if you actually press the plus sign here, you can create a table. So plus and then a table. I'm actually gonna put this below it just because it looks better. Um, and then I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to paste it right here. Does that not work? Well, maybe y equals, is that not gonna work? So let's see. Okay, and then if I do one, two, no, it's not working. Okay, hold on, that worked yesterday or like last week, give me a second. <laughs> All right, so apparently if you call your equation f of x and then you just put it as f of x over here, then it will create the t-table for you. I don't know why it wasn't working when I copied and pasted it because that was literally how the video showed me last week, but okay, sure. So we're gonna call our equation f of x. Sorry about the confusion. And then on your t-table, you call this column f of x, and then you can just type out a bunch of x values and see what x values it gives you. So like one, comma negative four would have been, that's not a point on it. Oh wait, one, duh. Okay, 
one common negative four with one of our points, two common negative five, three undefined. Okay, so then we can also go the other way. So like zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, and negative 10. So I just chose those because we want x values from negative 10 all the way to, I would have gone all the way to positive 10, except that at three, it starts being undefined because that's your asymptote. So we just want to find some points that have integer values. So like one and negative four. So then I can plot one and negative four, two and negative five. We already got that one. Nothing at three, zero. This is not an integer. So negative one, negative three. There we go. Negative five, negative two. And then was that it? Yeah, okay. And then they only wanted at least four points. So we finally got our four points. Sorry that it took so long. I don't know why it was so hard to just find it here, but thanks for being patient. So, okay. So once you're done plotting the points, you press this button that says done plotting points. And then. Oh, and then we have to use our mouse to try to draw it through all the points. And just do your best. <laughs> this is gonna be kind of ugly, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just try your best on your computer. And then submit answer. And by the way, um, even though we're making you do this 10 times today for your classwork, it will not be on the test because we understand this will be really frustrating for the test. Let's do another one. I guess it takes a while, but yeah, we're just gonna type this into here. So two log base two, base is a shift and the minus x plus five minus two. Okay, so let's see if we can just already use some of these points. We want at least four points. So we got three, four, negative one, two, negative three, zero, negative four, negative two. Is that all the points we needed? We just needed at least four points. And luckily, they were already on our t-table here. Um, if you don't find the required amount of points, just make sure your t-table covers all the values from negative 10 all the way to positive 10. So you could just, like, instead of having this very strange way of organizing that I had here, <laughs> you can go like negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, all the way to 7, 8, 9, 10. That would be a lot of numbers to type, but if you can find the required amount of points from whatever you have in your t-table already, good enough. Okay, so we have our four points. Click done plotting points, and I'm gonna try my best to draw this graph. Okay. Don't worry if it's ugly, look how ugly mine is. And then remember not to cross over this asymptote. So there's this asymptote line here um, at the negative five, your graph's never, or at least my graph, my graph's never gonna pass negative five, right? So I'm not going to draw this crossing over the negative five. Like I wouldn't have a line coming out this way. Okay, okay and then submit, please take it. Okay, it took it. <laughs> so pretty much it's just that, um, type it into Desmos. You can either search for points manually, or for some reason, if that's too hard like it was for me, use a t-table and then just draw your graph. Try your best to draw your graph. All right, so we have this other problem. Wait, yeah, we have this new problem. And so for anyone who just came into the Zoom, all we have to do is graph it on Desmos and then Look at our t-table on those and plot the points and sketch the graph. So we're given this equation. We're going to type it in over here. So it says log base 2. Log. To type a base, you use these two buttons, so shift and the minus. 
the ship's finest, and it lets you type a base. Why is it always called base 2? I don't know. Just probably wouldn't be for you. They just give me the same examples every time. And then here's my graph. Um, if you wondered how I got this T table, I'll show you just from the start. You go plus table. Don't call this Y1, call it F of X because I have this thing called F of X. And then here you can go from negative 10 all the way to positive 10, just so that you really cover all your bases. Negative 10, negative 9, negative 8. Okay, wait. Negative 8, <laughs> negative 7, negative 6, negative 5. Okay, cool. It's auto filling it for me. Cool. And then if you're wondering why it's not filled in here yet, don't call this x sub 1. Just make it a regular old x. And then find the ones with integer points. So in this example, we want to plot at least four points. So just find the ones with the whole numbers in it. Like you don't want this one, right? You can't plot that. So negative 2, negative 5. Negative three. Wait, I did that one wrong. Where do I? How do I undo it? Okay, two negative five, three negative four, five negative three, nine negative two. There we go. And then it looks like my asymptote is at one, so I don't want to cross over this one line. And then I'm going to click done plotting points. And then it's going to literally want me to sketch it. So the asymptote was at one. So I'm definitely not going to cross over like that. That's wrong. So I want to make sure this thing gets closer to one. Oh gosh, I hope they'll take that. That might be a little bit too messy for them. But just try your best. I know it's pretty complicated to try to draw this on a test, but um, do not worry because this type of question will not be on the test. I just, it's for your practice, for your homework. There's only 10 problems of stuff like this. Let's see if this is too ugly for them or if they will take it. <laughs> okay, they took it, thank God. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Keep doing that 10 times. And then if you're done, you can feel free to leave.